Marie Coleman can vividly recall the asthma attacks that used to send her to the emergency room on a monthly basis. Your lungs are burning, you, you're panicked. The more you can't breathe, the more you panic, the more you panic, the worse you can't breathe. Marie and 20 million other Americans suffer from asthma. They deal with episodes of coughing, wheezing, and gasping for breath. And often, simple breathing can be a struggle. But it doesn't have to be that way. For the overwhelming majority of people, asthma can be controlled. We believe every patient with asthma should expect to lead a nearly normal life with the proper care. The common symptoms for asthma include wheezing, shortness of breath, a cough very often, and a chest tightness. Asthma can be triggered by irritants such as air pollution, cigarette smoke, paint fumes, and strong odors. Allergens, viral respiratory infections, weather conditions, and in some, exercise can lead to symptoms. Without proper treatment, these triggers can cause an asthma attack with potentially life-threatening consequences. Somebody walks by you with the wrong cologne, with dust on them, with pollen on them, and all of a sudden you stop breathing. Although no cure has been discovered for asthma, most patients can successfully control their condition through avoiding known irritants that trigger symptoms and by taking prescribed medications. There's two kinds of medicines the quick relief medicines, which are fast acting, and then the controller medicines, which are anti-inflammatory medicines, which really address the problem of asthma, which is inflammation of the airways of the lungs. Okay, I just need the to rescue, do my or quick relief medications, are inhaled to treat asthma symptoms or an asthma attack. These medications rapidly relax the smooth muscles around the airways, allowing them to open. It's a medication that is designed to get you out of trouble right away. The preventative or long-term asthma control medications are taken daily. These medications inhibit the inflammatory response to irritants and thus reduce or prevent swelling in the airways and decrease mucus production. The goal of the long-acting controllers is to keep those symptoms from being triggered in the first place. A third class of asthma control medications is the leukotriene modifiers, which are available in tablets. They specifically block the powerful chemicals involved in the inflammation process and may reduce swelling inside the airways and relax the surrounding smooth muscles. In addition to avoiding irritants that trigger symptoms and taking medications, patients may consider immunotherapy injections, also known as allergy shots and desensitization. Marie Coleman is taking part in a clinical trial of an experimental asthma medication, and so far, it's been working well for her. For the first time in my life, I haven't been to the hospital in two years. Regardless of how the asthma is treated, with trigger avoidance, medications, or immunotherapy, all asthma patients should know their condition can be effectively treated and managed.